Welcome to this video tutorial that discusses the design of IAR biquad filters and their implementation via the ARM CMSYS DSP software development framework using the ASN filter designer. The main filter designer is graphically based so you can see by dragging, clicking and dragging the design markers you can alter the frequency response. Shown on the left hand side the coefficients are updated in real time so the tool supports all standard methods such as elliptic Chebyshev Butterworth and of course there is support for FIR filters the key behind the tool is that you can work graphically and optimize your specification without actually physically entering the specifications into the text boxes here so you can actually zoom in and out to your heart's content and scroll about it's all very very simple so once we've designed our filter we can now go to the signal analyzer just by clicking on this and this is basically uh, an oscilloscope within the tool so um, we go to time domain analysis we can actually set up a test signal so we've already set up a sine wave with some white noise so the sine wave here 50 hertz with some additive white noise you can of course add audio files in your own data test files comma separated or other text files so if we click on play you'll see that in real time the display is updated so the blue signal is your input signal so that's your 50 hertz plus noise and the red is your filtered signal so if we look at this a little bit more we know that it's a 50 hertz sine wave so if we move the null there we can actually in real time filter out our 50 hertz components it's very very easy um, you can of course do that via the pulse zero charts here on the right so you can zoom in and out you can click on this so if I just click on this quickly you can see that we can update the frequency response we can fine-tune it in real time um, double clicking on this goes back to the default so we've selected a Butterworth so we can go to different designs Chevy Chef elliptic it's all very very simple now once we've actually designed our filter and tested it we want to deploy it to the ARM processor um, so what we can do is use the export functionality here so as default it's documentation mode so this is suitable for documentation in Word but then you'll see that there are other options here such as SimSys. So you'll see now that it's complaining that it can't actually output the design because it's designed using double precision arithmetic. CMSys doesn't support double precision arithmetic and that's easy enough to solve. So you go to the arithmetic section and you choose single precision or fixed point. So let's choose fixed point with Q15 arithmetic. Now based on some previous knowledge that we have we know that the direct form one is the structure that we need so clicking on apply you see we automatically get the optimized code the cm sys dsp code together with a test loop here so within a couple of minutes you can design test verify and get your code for your ARM processor and all of the hard work is done by the tool itself.